If you believe breakfast is a good idea any time of the day, we know just the place for you. This is Freeland Cafe. We serve what a lot of people call comfort food, family food, a lot of family dining. The original owners started in the middle 1970s. We haven't made a lot of changes because the cafe has a pretty big local following. One of those unchanged items is their version of Loco Moco. It's a rice dish with a beef patty served on top with two eggs the way you like them with a house-made brown gravy spread over the top. We serve blueberry pancakes made with Mutiny Bay blueberries grown just a little bit down the way. Chicken fried steak that's hand-breaded here with homemade you know, gravy from scratch that's really, really popular. After almost 50 years, Freeland Cafe is still popular. We get people in saying, you know, my grandfather used to bring my dad here and I bring my son here. Uh, a lot of weekenders and we're a regular spot on their list. Looking to grab some lunch? You'll find food and much more at Green Bank Pantry and Deli. I grew up on the East Coast. Emily's from Chicago and we've seen corner stores do a lot with a little. So we thought we could do the same and bring our own touch. That touch includes a storefront packed with goodies that may surprise you. We have, you know, all the basics, but then a little other things that you might find unexpected in a little shop in Green Bank. You can pair their groceries with one of their menu's many mouth-watering sandwiches. The Italian sandwich is on homemade semolina bread, just like a Sicilian-style roll. We've got three Italian meats, mortadella, soppressata, and copa, a little provolone, and some other nice little veggies. The veggie Reuben is like your classic Reuben, except instead of meat, we use our roasted beets. We've got our house-made island dressing with Swiss cheese and sauerkraut on our house-made bread. People are appreciative of the curated selection that we put together, and I think they see the effort that goes into it, which we're happy to do. Finally, if the dinner bell is ringing, you can answer the call at one of the most popular spots on the island. We are Saltwater Fish House and Oyster Bar in Langley, Washington, and we are a classic seafood house. Modeled after oyster bars in New England, Saltwater serves fresh seafood from the Northwest, like you'll find on their Crab Louie salad. It's kind of a composed salad with classic Louie dressing, which is similar to Thousand Island. There's uh, greens and avocado, hard-boiled egg, and then just a big helping of fresh Dungeness crab. The salmon nuggets are uh, Chef's Cuisine Doug came up with. It's got beets in it, which we thought was interesting. Gives it a really nice color and a little sweetness and stuff. The Tokate Tower is named after the largest ferry in our system, and it will be two dozen oysters, your choice selection, and then a whole Dungeness crab and a dozen wild gulf prawns. So whether it's breakfast all day or seafood at night, Whidbey has just about everything you could wish for. Ah, uh, so much great food here on Whidbey. And you know, if you're craving barbecue, the place to go is in Oak Harbor. It's called Orlando's Southern Barbecue. A decade ago, Jackie Stoneham started bringing her fried catfish out to local farmer's markets where it sold out every time. So then she started a food truck, she outgrew that, so then she and her family opened a restaurant in downtown Oak Harbor. Her son Orlando says it is all about family. The way the business actually started was my mom walking into the living room one day during the summer, seeing all five of us lay down on the floor watching TV. And she's like, oh, no, nah. no, I'm gonna get y'all out to work. I'm gonna get y'all out getting something that you could call for yourself, something that you could earn for yourself. I have had that food, and I can tell you it is delicious.